Hi everyone, welcome back. Now we are going to start with K-means clustering. As I've told you in our last video that it is a centroid based clustering technique where we have to uh, tell uh, how many number of clusters we need that is K. K is nothing but the number of clusters that we need. So K-means clustering is quite an very simple unsupervised learning algorithm uh, which is capable of uh, quite a dense scarce kind of data set very quickly and efficiently often uh, in very uh, small number of iterations yeah it's an iterative algorithm which divides your data into k clusters it allows us to cluster the data into different groups and a convenient way to discover the categories of groups in the unlabeled data set of its own without the need for any training just with the iteration process, we get the different number of clusters. It is an centroid based uh, algorithm where each cluster is associated with a centroid. And the main aim of this algorithm is to minimize the sum of distances between the data point and their corresponding cluster. That is the variance. Okay, the aim, main aim is to uh, decrease the variance of these clusters, the centroids, okay, centroids and the points. So here's how our data set looks. Let's uh, right now uh, what I'm showing you is an two dimensional uh, data set. Okay, basically, but K-means is very much powerful to handle out uh, your multi dimensional data set. Okay, so here we have only two dimensional X and Y. That's how it gets very easy to plot it out. Okay, so we have this data set. This data set looks something like this. Okay, without this is without the use of k-means without using k-means we get the data set something kind of this okay we have this this we have as you can see by visually you can say that there are clusters there are some groups which should be belonging to a similar kind right so after applying your k-means algorithm your data set gets something like this so here are the different colors denoted by the uh, different color clusters which are denoted by different colors and this black dot over here what uh, we see this is nothing but the centroid of each and every clusters okay this is the centroid all of these are the centroids and the main aim of the algorithm k means uh, algorithm is to minimize the sum of distances between the data point and their corresponding clusters. Let's look into how does an k-means algorithm work. The first and foremost step is select the number of k and that's what uh, will help us to initialize the clusters. Okay, so the first step is select the number of k to decide the number of clusters. The next step is to uh, randomly put all their centroids. Okay, so let's say we have this data. We have this data points and this is something like this, some random points. And let's say you have decided k equals to two. So in step two, what we are going to do is we are going to select uh, two centroids, okay, randomly and plot it out over here. So let's say this is one centroid and this is one centroid. These are completely random. Okay, and just by iteration, we are going to get it. Like we are going to get uh, our different clusters. So the third step is assign each and every point to the closest centroid, which will uh, form our predefined K clusters. So uh, let's say we have these two clusters and what we are going to do is we are going to get the distance over here. And over here, we are going to uh, talk about Euclidean distance. Okay, because uh, we have already seen while doing KNN also what is Euclidean and what are the different uh, what are Manhattan distance okay but for this we are going to only use our Euclidean distance to get out the distance uh, points nearby distances okay to calculate out the distances but it's uh, sometimes you might occur some places in some problems that uh, Euclidean distance might not be a very good fit but as of now for us as for the starting point this is absolutely the best one to start so over here, what we get is, let me change out the color. Mm. We find out a distance, okay, something like this. Okay, assign each data point to the closest centroid. 
and if uh, from a bit of geometry what we have learned in our early school days okay we get this straight line that is the and whatever we have over here let's say uh, let's change the color okay. uh, this one is blue okay so all the points that we have over here represents the blue points okay and the next one again whatever we have over here let's say this is purple all the points over here represents the purple instance and similarly what we do is after doing this uh, the next thing is we calculate the variance and place a new centroid of each cluster as i've told you the main aim of our uh, k-means clustering is to uh, decrease the variance okay so we decrease the variance and the new clusters that we have okay this will let's say our major points are over here so these clusters uh, might move over here this centroid might move some place over here so this is the new centroid okay this is the new centroid and let's say for the blue one also uh, majorly blue points are uh, let's say over here some place okay this place okay so you will be having the new cluster over here okay so this cluster will shift this place and for the purple one also this will shift in this place i hope my diagram is making much sense okay this will move over here after this what you are going to do is uh, you are going to remove the old clusters okay and from these new clusters you are going to find out what are the different points okay again we do this one okay and distribute the data and after from this we get that there are uh, some uh, we reassign Okay, this is what happens. Repeat, we repeat the third and fourth process. We go over here and again over here. We assign each and every point to the closest centroid. So, uh, all the blue points that we have. Okay, the, uh, this is basically blue. This will not be blue. This will become purple. Okay, and this is again purple. Okay, so over here we have only two points. That's how we can create out the clusters. And... Uh, if the assignment is complete, then we again go to step four to, and if it's complete, we find out the variance. If it is uh, exactly what we require, we get something like this. Our model is quite ready. Okay, so at the end, we will be having, let's remove everything what we have over here. And the figure, the new figure that after all of these iterations, we will be getting is, say I have this, and I had a cluster over here and i had a cluster some points over here so after getting my centroids and finding out the distance we find it out that this is the blue centroid and all of these points belong to this clusters okay this is one cluster and then we found out that this is one more cluster the purple one so all of these points the red over here are nothing but what belongs to this cluster so that's how we have uh, got out different clusters.